Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash. Season 5, we got some more leaked photos from the finale, so we're going to be breaking it all down, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So all these photos, and actually a video that we're going to be going over, is all from Themyscira Bound this time. So yesterday, we had the initial leaks, which were from Canada Graphs and then Mosquito Bound, but today's video, we're going to be just going over the new set photos and that new video that we're going to be talking about from the Mosquito Bound. So go check them out on Twitter. That's where you can find them. They're really good. They're always around the set taking photos. So first off, let's go over some of these photos. So just to point out right at the start of this video, Reverse Flash, played by Tom Kavanagh, has actually got black hair or very dark brown and it's not the sort of blondy tint that we've been seeing in the future so that's very interesting and that's something to note down because this could potentially mean that maybe he's had time to break out he's I don't know dyed his hair or something I don't know why his hair is blonde we haven't explained that yet but it seems to be his hair is completely back to normal reverse flash color so is this a different version of reverse flash I think you could argue that but also at the same time you could argue, oh he's escaped so he's, you know, dyed his hair or however he normally changes his hair colour. Because it's definitely different. So, let's go over some of these new photos. And so the first photo we're going to be going over is one of Nora. And Nora is in fact attacking Reverse Flash. So she is full on attacking. I don't know... How she's attacking, it could be that she's strangling, she could be punching, she could be phasing her hand through Reverse Flash. We can't really tell, there's a railing in the way, but most definitely she's attacking Reverse Flash. And you can see Iris in the background, she's smiling, so it seems like, oh, maybe they're defeating Reverse Flash at this point. And Nora's doing good work, so Iris is smiling. And we see that on the left of us, like what you can see on the screen right now, but the right for Nora, you see there is a flash of red that is Barry back there just to tell you guys. And just below we see Killer Frost, she's just a bit below the actual framing of this photo, but she's definitely there. So Nora is attacking Reverse Slash, that's a notable moment. And then we move on to the next shot, and so this is actually just after she's attacked and she drops back and you see this photo right here and Barry's back next to Iris. Iris's face is kind of shocked. Yes, it's a bit blurry, but you can see the rough expressions. And so Nora is backing off and at this point Reverse Flash has his cowl off when she was actually attacking Reverse Flash and now after this. So she's backing off. And then we move on to this video and this video is really, really intriguing. This is what everyone has been talking about online because Themyscira Bound released it and just watch this. We're going to talk about it and we'll watch it. So basically what's happening in this scene, we can play it in slow motion, but essentially she's looking at her hands and she's sort of panicking. She's looking around everywhere, looking at Iris and Iris is panicking as well, you can see. But remember, this is just one take, so we could get like maybe a close up of a reaction of whatever's happening in this. So for now, we can see that she's panicking, something's happening to her hands because she keeps on looking back, but then she's turning back and forth with her head to Iris. She's very, very confused. That is notably one of the major parts of this scene of how she's acting. And so I think there is a few theories that we can go over, but the one theory that I came up with straight away, and I'm sure tons of you did, what popped to my mind was, oh shit. Nora's being erased because if you remember when Reverse Flash at the end of season one when he was being erased he sort of takes a glance at his hands and you see his hands disintegrate first I do believe and then it's like his legs and then it goes up to his face and so on so could this actually be the ending of Nora because we've been theorizing about this all season if Nora completes her objective if Reverse Flash helps her and they save Barry so they don't have the 2024 event, she gets erased. If she does anything else, if, you know, Reverse Flash gets out and he screws the timeline up and something changes for her future because they do stuff in the past, you know, whatever she's doing here is affecting the future. 
if she messes anything up, she's getting erased. So, the question is, how the hell is she getting erased if she's getting erased? I think she most likely is. Like, it really does seem like that. It's a very kind of notable action that she's doing. And at that point when they're shooting, Barry actually shouts out, No! You can hear Grant actually shouting it out in the video, and there is a bang at the start, so it seems like this is Barry's reaction, and we go to this photo, and we see Reverse Flash actually being attacked by Barry, and it actually looks like Barry's full-on strangling Reverse Flash, whilst Nora is looking at her hands. So, what is happening? Iris's face is in shock again still after that same scene so there's two different things happening at the same point we have Barry literally looking like he's choking out reverse flash or he's phasing through his chest but it looks like he's choking him out so it seems like his reaction when he says no it's because of what's happened to Nora and she's looking at her hands it seems like she's getting erased here but I don't know how she's possibly getting erased if this is what what is happening like does reverse flash have a way to actually erase Nora on the spot because you know he is basically com in complete control of her because of them working together in the future he knows everything that happens and now with him escaped from his 2049 prison escaped from that time or whatever that means whether it's death row or not he's in the present and this is happening to Nora and it looks like she's been erased so He's caused something because she was just previously attacking him and now she's looking at her hands and Barry's shouting no and Barry's strangling him. There is a very strong reaction. Look at Grant's face. He is full of anger and Iris is shocked. So it all seems to be like it's leading up to this scene where potentially Nora is potentially being erased. I don't know, but it seems like that's what's happening. So if you have any other theories, let me know in the comments down below. But we move on to the last photo, and so the last photo is of Reverse Flash, he's on the ground, this was part of the stunt work, the stunt video that I actually included in yesterday's video, I think it was, when we talked over the finale leaks from the other day. Or in terms of the scene, it could be something to do with what's happening with Barry right here, because we know it's something straight after, so maybe something has happened to Barry that is affecting what is happening to Nora. But I think that's a bit less likely. I think what's more likely is somehow Reverse Flash has caused her to somehow start to be a race. I don't know if Nora will return next season or not. I think there is a way. If this is not her actually being a race, this is something completely different. I think what is going to be happening because Nora's on this mission this entire season to save Barry so he is there for her childhood and he doesn't disappear in 2024 and she wants to change everything basically. She'll get erased even if she changes that at all. So if she's continuing on her mission and Crisis has changed from 2024 to 2019 which we know it has which is the Crisis on Infinite Earths event next year for the crossover, is she going to stick around? You would have to presume if that's part of her plan and she isn't able to do it this season because it doesn't seem like she's actually going to fully complete her plan this season because that will have to lead on to next season and you know, she can only really make sure that Barry's not disappearing in 2024, which is now the 2019 event, if she is not there, so she needs to be there, essentially. So. I reckon she's going to stay around and she's going to be here at least until the crossover. That's just my theory. Obviously, I could be completely wrong. She could be getting a race right here. I think there is a lot of evidence in this leak from Themyscira Bound that this could be the oration of Nora in the finale. So, let me know. What do you think about all this? I think... There is a high possibility that Nora gets a race, but also at the same time, I think maybe they keep her for Crisis and then we move on from there. But let me know, what do you think about all these leaks? I think they're really, really intriguing. I think it's amazing to see Reverse Flash out in public. He's back in his suit. It looks like he's got his normal hair. So has he escaped and then he's gone to another time period? He's got his suit back. I don't know where he's keeping his suit at this point, but maybe it's like way in the future and... Perhaps, I think this season when we go to episode 18, 
surely there is some sort of link between reverse slash and godspeed i just have this sneaking feeling that maybe on one hand you know reverse slash maybe knows nothing but at the same time i think he probably does maybe a different version of himself and if this is a different version of reverse slash because he's got the different color hair could this be like the oldest version of reverse flash that knows about everything knows about godspeed if godspeed sticks around for season six which i'm kind of doubting now just due to the fact that it doesn't seem like godspeed's around in a lot of these later set photos and later descriptions obviously they don't want to give away too many spoilers but does he know about all of this? Does this all link in? I don't know. But just let me know your theories in the comments down below. Just leave it all there. I'll read through it and we can sort of talk about it down there. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe, turn on notifications and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the DC TV show to stay up to date with me. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.